hello 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 beautiful people and we are back with another vlog if you're new to my channel welcome again as you can tell by the title of this video we are back with another weekend vlogs since this first weekend it was all about self-care and getting some things done i had went to yonder yoga and did a hot yoga class and followed by some smoothies at the detox juice bar <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bertiana and we are back with another daily vlog so I didn't even I did everything black like completely backwards today you guys because your girl was just really trying to be present in the moment I don't even know what I was thinking I just wanted to get like through the process so I feel like I don't do enough of these like daily vlogs so I'm just gonna kind of take you guys along for the rest of the day um, this, um earlier today was like super fun I had a chance to actually catch up with an old friend we um went to do like a hot yoga class at yonder yoga which was uh, so dope they actually give you these cute like little uh, like lavender infused washcloth and if you've ever done a hot yoga class them washcloths i don't know if all places do it but this one is like a lifesaver because it's so hot <laughs> after you do some core work and yoga poses and all of that like yo like after 30 minutes your girl already be like okay I'm sweating way too much for this, okay? It's like literally doing like yoga in a sauna, okay? Um, so yeah, it was really, really cute. And I'm so glad we had a chance to actually catch up. Um, I, we act, we both actually went to this juice bar. I was like literally in the same plaza called Detox um, Juice Bar. Um, and that was super cute and fun to go to too because like it's so quiet and they have like, you know, fresh, you know, smoothies and stuff like that. So I'm glad that I was able to like to catch up with her, but also do that in, like as well. I'm starting to really try to get more back into the things of like doing things for myself, you know, especially being a mom now. It feels so surreal like when I'm now like as my son is getting older and trying to get things back to like you know the way things were um like pre-mom life so yeah like i'm just in this process of doing that so i really wanted to take you guys along for that journey as well um comment down below if you guys want to see more of these like vlogs you guys kind of already know i do a lot of like the holistic self-care days and stuff like that um but i definitely want to do more of these where i you know just take the morning the rising to myself and just kind of go and do something for myself so that's what i did today hence no makeup your girl took a shower already um and like so i'm just doing everything so backwards today um because i forgot to do my intro but right now as you can hear my son is playing with the washing machine i'm doing laundry so um i think i'm gonna just take you guys along for the rest of the day uh, i'm not sure exactly how long this vlog is actually going to be but yeah we're just gonna st i'm just gonna say stay tuned because yeah that's pretty much what i have going on <laughs> I'm actually before we like finish off um, other stuff I actually am going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for the longest once I became a mom and I'm creating a legacy binder um, I think there's a few other like terms that has been like thrown around as to like what that is called um, but essentially it's just like a binder that's going to be filled with like emergency contact forms um, just like information sheets just like things that like if god forbid something was to happen to my partner and I like someone will know like what to do you know like so like whether it be his god um, parents which essentially is like my sister um and my best friend between the two of them they would know or his um you know best friend so technically the three of the three people main people in our lives would know what to do um when it comes down to that so in just and obviously you know because i'm not at that point in my life where i want to think about dying just yet i am not going to have this completely filled out but just the thought of it being like started and like you know building that foundation makes me feel really good <laughs> so if you are like me and you want to know um like more about this i can definitely like make a whole separate video on this um topic but essentially it is what i just said it is and i found a cute one on etsy they have a bunch of different ones um i probably will show you guys or insert it like a clip or something um for you guys so you guys can see what it is 
I'm about to pull it up now and then I'm gonna print it out and then put it in the binder. Okay, so essentially I got this binder from Amazon. I think it was like $5 or whatever the case may be. I think, I mean, I just wanted something simple because I don't think it's that many pages. Um, I'm gonna actually go back just to see because I do have it pulled up now. Um, so give me a second. So yeah, it's so, a um, emergency contact like sheet. Then the binder itself is like a PDF with 62 pages. So yeah, I think that will be good because I think I'm gonna double it and then put them in these sheet protectors. Um, I have extra sheet protectors in the home tooling binder. So I'm gonna take that out and then I'm gonna put this here. So as you can tell, this binder is like over 65 pages and it's super useful, especially for someone that is like, you know, a planner like myself that wants to include all the necessary details in case of an emergency. I also wanted this weekend to just be us spending quality time. So the family went upstairs to the pool just to enjoy some views and really enjoy the pool before it starts to get cold. Day weekend we are actually headed up to see my parents and surprise them for the weekend what's up you guys so we are back um today we have like actually just got back to my family's house um for labor day i'm gonna try to insert some clips because we surprised my mom and dad they didn't know we were coming um We told them I was gonna come tomorrow, but we actually came a day earlier, and so we're gonna spend the entire weekend with them up until Labor Day. So stay tuned for more. All right, so we are here at the pool right now. We are actually. I'm about to just enjoy the day because the weather is a little mixy today for some reason. Um, it's not sure if we're gonna like if it's gonna rain or if it's going to be sunny out right now. The clouds is like pretty out, so we're just gonna take up, you know, enjoy the most we can of the day. Then we're gonna actually um, probably like go back in the pool and I mean go back to the house and like cook and stuff like that. I need to wash my hair, as you guys can <laughs> clearly tell. It's a mess. And then we're about to get in this pool and it's gonna just be super dry because of the chlorine. So, yes. What's up you guys? Happy Labor Day. I know I look a little crazy, but your girl just washed her hair last night. I'm um, gonna have to insert some clips or some pictures. I didn't do anything, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I've been like completely slacking on recording everything for you guys to see the full like shenanigans, but I'm gonna try to do better today since today is our last day so you guys can get a little bit more of what we got going on for the vlog. Um, last night we just watched some of the really dope movies and just like kind of hung out. Um, but like, so I'm gonna do better today so I can get some more footage. I'm gonna try to record like our little mini barbecue sesh. Um, it is Monday so we're gonna still keep the routine going. Um, I did pack a lot of the things that we normally have when we go on vacation, especially with us being vegan. And then I did some do, um, grocery deliveries. So we have some food for today, which I will definitely show you guys. Um, but essentially, I just finished making the meals and smoothies for Bay. Um, and again, I had made some, made some like iced coffees like we did yesterday, which were so good. So if you already have the brand Pop and Bottle, they have like, the little mini coffees um and they have like mocha they have like a vanilla flavor they also have like a chai flavor so we have a mocha flavor once again on it's just the clips like the pictures of something um but we kind of just did that again today and then we had like it's so delicious like um like the creamer the vegan 
creamer and um we just kind of mix that in and then like obviously blend it with some crushed ice and a little bit of agave y'all if you have that please try it it's like so good i'm not a big big coffee person but i do like lattes and like cappuccinos and stuff like that and i don't have it on the regular because i like i said don't like some one of the coffee taste and i also am not like because i still do breastfeed try to limit my caffeine intake as much as possible um but aside from all of that back to today so i just finished making the meals and like i said all of that now i am kind of just starting my homeschooling routine with my son um i have to guys give you guys like an update on that like later because you know i I don't think I've ever given you guys like a full update on that. Actually, I'll just do that now. So basically, what that may look like is different every day. Last semester, I essentially just kind of, you know, I basically, I homeschooled him in a more like traditional, non-traditional way, which I'm still doing now. I had a whole little routine. If you haven't checked out my like day in the life homeschooling vlog, definitely check it out because you kind of get more of like a feel of that. Um, but I try to do, I tried to do it throughout the day. Now I just kind of limit it to like, an, like 30 minutes to an hour a day, knocking out some activities to keep it simple because your girl still got things to do, like work and just like other, like creating content, editing content, like home stuff. And just, it just gets a lot trying to fit in like a whole like toddler homeschooling day schedule. Um, and I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but my son is pretty much like, I want to say like realistically he's like 80 percent potty trained i know i mentioned the elimination communication in my previous video so we definitely started off with that but i just I, it's not in me to let him just run around naked and peeing all on the floor i don't have time for that cleaning up every day so um we still do diaper um with organic um you know, biodegradable non-toxic diapers but we do encourage the potty training as much as possible and fingers crossed i know i said i wanted to buy his second birthday but towards the end of the year i want him to be fully potty trained because we have been looking into the whole like holistic um, preschools and now that we've moved and we're like kind of getting things settled i think that is the direction that we're going to go in just so he has more social interaction and don't get me wrong i know people kind of like look down or not i want to say look down but maybe have their hesitation towards homeschooling because they're like oh what about the you know social interaction they have different things and different methods you guys so you know you could do half days at preschools or just like you know other places that have like kids where kids can go like play gyms or like the gymboree classes or whatever so that the kid can get um a social interaction they can do things like that so that way they can i say get that interaction with other little kids which is essentially what we were thinking of doing just doing like like maybe homeschooling can like throughout the week but maybe like once or twice a week do like a half day so he can just go to like one of those preschools but i ain't gonna lie to y'all like he still hasn't gotten on any of his shots <laughs> so i think we're gonna try to see if we can find a school that aligns with that if not then we're gonna do um get like a babysitter to come and um like help with the situation i think it's called joint sitting i was talking to one of my friends about this and they basically have things where like you know it's kind of like a nanny um size babysitter that will come watch the child but also assist with like actual homes like they actually have like um like their certification as like a teacher to actually come and help and teach right now we i have family out here where we live but they're like an hour away so it literally is just me doing like everything for the most part um and so i know it can definitely get like overwhelming so if you have been through this like you know where you kind of take on the majority of the way which i think a lot of moms kind of can relate to anyways then you get my struggle trying to like balance everything so me getting like a joint sitter or us getting like a you know babysitter something to just kind of take that load off would help tremendously when it comes down to you know me scheduling days for specifically for content and just me time to get myself you know my stuff back in order um so that was my little rant like i said he is the main thing is like him not being fully party trained like i and since he's still learning to talk i just don't want it to be no confusion of like oh this that and they're like of course naturally he's gonna have accents and stuff like that and um i would definitely have to do an uh, updated version of this because like i said i don't even know if that's actually going to be the plan that it's like a it's a thought so we can like to find a preschool that aligns with it that's what we're going to do if not then the whole joint sitting thing is what we're going to actually like do um and then if we do the joint sitting thing my ideal plan is to 
kind of if y'all know who Drika Gates is she has I guess a YouTube channel too and she does it where she actually built one of those like tiny home um, container little situations for her kids and does like the homeschooling there and that's like my ideal plan is to get one of those so obviously once we get our like actual house then we can do that um, that plan but I want something like mobile like that that can kind of go wherever we go um but for now i think like, it'll just be between our house and then it may be you know occasionally um at our family house like i said right now our family is an hour away so it's not ideal but i mean it sounds like it's not ideal because it's like oh it's an hour but like realistically it's just like it does get a lot so yeah you guys that's enough i think of my little rant <laughs> i just wanted to throw that in there because i feel like i haven't given you guys like a full like real life life update when it comes down to everything in a minute so that's pretty much what's going on so now back to the actual vlog so we're doing the homeschooling now i think i'm gonna have my sister help me with that um process we're gonna sing some songs we're gonna you know read go over some flashcards like simple activities then i think i'm gonna edit some content and then just like the rest of the day we're gonna just be cooking because we are gonna go home later on today um so stay tuned for more this is so cute. My mom surprised my son with a little table, you guys. So he goes perfectly in his little play area. It's coming together. See the vision? We got the pillows, not except for the weights, but they got the pillows. They're gonna have some little, maybe little tumble mats and stuff like that. That'll probably go where the pillows are gonna go and some other stuff. So yes, I'll definitely do like an updated version of this soon. So I wanted to show you guys these bubbles. They are eco-friendly and they're made out of an aluminum bottle. So that makes them reusable. The brand is a bubble tree. So they're non-toxic, like they're eco-friendly, um, vegan-friendly. And I would love to say sustainable because of the fact that they are reusable. And they also will have like a refillable version where you can pour them into the bottle as well. And then the wands are also made out of aluminum as well. If you are new to my channel, then one thing you need to know is that I like to eat. I am a big foodie, okay? Although I am vegan or plant-based, I truly, truly, truly try to remain, you know, make sure my diet is fully healthy. But when I get the opportunity to splurge, I'm gonna splurge, especially when it comes down to a barbecue or a family gathering or some type of holiday that we have coming up. I like to find alternatives that are, um, you know, suitable to my diet but also very 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 good um so here are some uh, um, alternatives as well as great transition food items that i have used when i was transitioning to being coming like plant-based um, over the past few years Y'all don't judge my food. I did not finish making it. I have to add some toppings to my little vegan hot dog. But anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you truly enjoyed that. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Once again, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.